so that should get it right around. It should be close enough. And I'll set that at halfway. Right, I've got to make a piece at the bottom of the chamfer on it. Out of all the wood on my rack, I can't find a piece that's suitable. So you remember these came off the braces. I'm going to square the ends off, rip them down. I've just planed a square edge on here. So I'll rip them down, get my pieces out of these. Right, I've got a blade that'll easily cut these in one go, but I can't be asked changing it, so I'll leave this one in. save this other one for another day. Right, these boards, I want to put a small chamfer on the top. This is just a sawn side still up. So that's about eight, nine mil, 10 mil maybe. So what I've done, screwed a straight edge on, and another board that it'll sit on. That distance there, this is a nine mil board, so that distance there should come out about nine mil. I'll take a few passes through the planer until I finish about there. I don't want to go to a point, I don't think. We'll see. I think you can just see my pencil line there. I've ended up with a very small flat on the top. But I think I'll leave it like that. Right, I've cut them back to good wood. And what I'll do now is cut these to fit, chop them in. And you can see on the old one, these legs went straight to the floor. And then on the end, there's a tenon, it's that way around. I went down there. I'm going to put some dominoes in. I'll do. I always knew it was going to be short there, but I'll put a bead down there. Some glue and screws on that when it comes to it. I'll do this one. Cut the sail. 
and glow and screws and I'll put plenty of treatment on it Right, I'll do. This leg's a bit twisted, so that's at an angle. That one's not bad, we're slightly out. I'll get some dominoes in now. Got the machine set up there. Should have set up my table, but it keeps looking like it's going to piss it down.
So these ones need to go in square to this front. Uh, that's a 12mm cutter and these ones just to give me a bit of wriggle room I put it on the adjustment and I only went 15mm deep I, could, I should have gone 20 maybe but it doesn't matter it's ok uh, I've cut some down some dominoes these are 140mm long I'll go on 35mm into there 50mm into there I don't have any that are sanded down so going to go for it. Put some treatment on first. Just clear treatment this. Put some of that on first. Right, I've just put two in there, it's not going anywhere, it's going to get fixed down. And these ones, try not to put in a line so that it doesn't split the wood. Before I fix it down, I'm going to hang the door again, make sure I get that leg, something like. Make sure I don't get that leg twisted. There's not much moving in it, movement in it at all anyway. But there's 5 10 mil, so hang the door, pull that leg to, then I'm going to do this one and I can do the same, I'll pull that to the shape of the door and in here, I do sort of wish I'd bought bigger timber and planed it down but I didn't, I just bought off the shelf 4 inch stuff it's a bit more than I thought that, but I'm happy about that because it means I can get a decent timber on there behind the door here it won't be seen, here's going to have a beading around it 
and on the other side beading so you'll only see maybe that little bit on the front I've done the same on this side chopped it back so that they fit in there so I'll make sure that's plumb then I'll clamp that across there and use my bevel to get these angles it's like that one I think this one's twisted a little bit so now I use that to cut the sill Right, dominoes went in just like the other side and I've glued and screwed it. Check that the door fits okay, the gap's okay down the inside. And I'm going to screw it down with 120mm sixes. I'm not going to stick it down, but I am going to put some of this under it, frame sealant. And then it's got 16 gauge pins. 